Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is one of my favorite recipes, so let's get started. Hi guys, I want to do a little update on the plants and trees in my yard. This is one of the trumpet plants that we planted. Over the winter though, the frost got at it, so I had to cut it back, but it's coming along good. Look at how nice that oregano looks. Never lost that in the winter. The green onions. The green onions. And all I do is just keep cutting them off and replanting them. I got some there. Got a nice big one right there. These are actually leeks. I'm trying to see if they'll grow. More green onions. And the wine grapes are coming in. I came out here and I'm like, oh my gosh. You can see the grapes coming in. I know there's a bunch down here. Here's some big ones right here. Got a nice set right there, right there. Another one right there. Gonna have a bunch this year. And the blueberries are coming in. I didn't think that they would because the frost really hit hard here this winter. Quite a few blueberries, but not enough to make any jelly. Another trumpet plant. You can see where it grew last year, and I gotta cut this off. And a new branch just branched out from the bottom. Raspberries are coming in, slowly but surely. But I'm real happy about these grapes. I really thought they wouldn't come in this year. You can see this trumpet plant coming back. Had the burn pile going. Had to break up all these leaves. I had like nine bags, the uh, yard bags full of brown leaves, plus five, five of those trash barrel fulls. So that's what's left. Loquat's doing good. Crepe myrtle's coming in. And I thought this tree was actually dead, but I can see new growth coming right here. Right over here. I mean, this winter we really got a hard freeze, so... But I'm thankful it's coming back. Then my banana plant. This was the original one. You can see it looks dead. But I had two shoots that came off of it. So, hopefully I'll see bananas, maybe come fall. Raked up all the leaves in here. Hydrangeas coming in. Another trumpet plant. And this cactus was so nice and so nice and big. But the frost really got it. I gotta clean that up. Hydrangeas are coming in. Another trumpet plant. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but this was the original stick that I planted. So that's coming along good. Be a nice shade tree. And I have the hydrangeas back here. They're all coming in. Another trumpet plant. And that's part of the Dorset apple tree that I chopped up and actually burned it because it was, I thought it was dead. But you can see some growing here and that's why I planted this tree. This is a grapefruit tree. You can see some grapefruits coming along. And over here was a Dorset apple tree. This one was completely dead. And this tree, I replaced it with a red navel orange. And you can see some coming along right here. 
I know there's a couple more. Figures I'm trying to look for them and can't find them. Well, I know there's a couple more on here. And I thought this plum tree was dead, but look at how good the leaves came in. No plums yet, and I think I've had this tree for at least five years. And here's the Meyer lemon. I have some lemons growing right here. I know there's quite a few on here. Right there. Got some there. But the plum tree looks really good. I just wish I got I just wish I would get some plums. I did have some flowers on here, but haven't seen anything yet. I don't know how many years it takes or Maybe it's just too hot down here. I don't know. Another trumpet plant. And the uzu tree. There's going to be a bunch on here. There's a lot of buds on the top. I don't know if I can focus in on them. And this is the key lime tree. You can see some right here, here. And this is the tangerine tree. I bought all these from Home Depot. You can see some fresh flowers right here. That looks like a new bud. It's going to be a group right there. Wow quite a bit right there and these are the crepe myrtles I planted another trumpet plant right here and I planted those sticks right here I don't know what kind of tree they're going to be, but I'm trying to block the corner here because the kids have a tendency to jump over here. So I kind of blocked it all off. And cactus. So that's about it for all the plants and trees in my backyard. I'll show you the front yard of all the plants and trees. These are the plumbago bushes. They have like a bluish type flower on them. Crepe myrtle. You see a trumpet plant growing there. Sago palm. Another crepe myrtle. They're so pretty. Plumbago. Now I'll check my fig trees. Look at how nice. They really got big. Been fertilizing them. And these are the loquats. The pink magnolia. Another trumpet plant along with all the cactus. So it's looking good. And I forgot the name of these trees, but you can see all the bees. I don't know if I'm focusing in right. The sun's like directly in my eye. But there's bees on all these red, I guess, flowers. Nice day today, too. And the rest of the crepe myrtles in the yard. Loquat, that's coming along good. Another crepe myrtle. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching the update of all the plants and trees in my yard. Enjoy! Well, thanks so much for tuning in to 
tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.